Hello, I'm Adam and I'm addicted. <laughs> what we've got there? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Segway GT1. Yes, I've bought it. It will be my main scooter. I will replace my G30 for this one. And uh, yeah, whatever, it got rear suspension, front suspension, you can adjust it. But that's not the case of this video, as you could think. Of course, if we turn it on, we go to mm, sport or race. And now I need to uh, turn the wheel. And as we can see, it's broken. 45 kilograms and rides 22 kilometers per hour, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you know what's next. <laughs> okay, so at the beginning we need to unscrew this panel there. Oh my gosh! I must say everything is big in this scooter, even screws. <laughs> okay, hard one. So there's a chance that no one opened it that before. Oh my gosh! And what now? Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, a lot of space! Yeah, oh... Okay, um, so the plan is to extract this... <laughs> oh my god, it's huge! Oh, I thought they're using XT60, not double XT120. Well, uh, for good video how to remove a controller, I'm referring you to uh, original Segway tutorials. Wow, I didn't expect that, but yeah, go check. There is a nice shown procedure. Oh my gosh, controller is on the desk and... Uh, well, it was nightmare. What we are looking for? Fortunately, this scooter is big and this scooter has big <laughs> controller, so the pins are big too. As we take a closer look, we see SWIO, clock, ground and 3.3 volt. We need to cut somehow to those uh, to those holes and solder the wires. Let's give it a try. And I don't want to break this board because those are too expensive, not expensive, those are too expensive. $150 per GT1, $180 per GT2. And that's how it looks like. I'm not sure if you've got focus, but yeah. Uh, well, it was pretty easy. Okay, I need to solder a... Uh, uh, wires to this okay and that's how it looks like well uh, there was a lot of space and yeah that was way better than soldering on the G2 now we need to connect uh, a S-Link uh, and first I need to find it and uh, yeah see you on the PC Okay, uh, we are at the desktop. We need a STM32 Cube programmer. And it opens on second monitor. One moment. That's how it looks like. And uh, I will connect the ST link. I hope I won't see any sparks. Okay, I see LEDs are lit and maybe refresh and uh, yeah, we can see our S-Link got detected and uh, I can press connect and I can see, I have no idea and uh, we need to go to uh, OB probably and check readout protection and uh, it's very important and as we can see in my case the scooter is uh, a little bit older than the newest ones i don't know maybe one year old or something uh, i've got aa that means there is no protection so 
Uh, I can uh, press a magic button, but first I need to see that. Okay, and uh, now we need uh, to set data width uh, to 8 bits and uh, we need to write size like this, I don't know, it's maybe 1 million and uh, now I should press read and save yes, let's apply yeah. and finally we can see that yeah, we read something now let's uh, press read on the corner and uh, save us and uh, save it on uh, anywhere and now let's move to the hxd i won't spell it a program and we need to open our firmware and now we can see there is our firmware and uh, we need to uh, replace and I have to write there my scooter a serial number and uh, as you can see there is uh, S1GDA and uh, D is for the Germany and now it's uppercase C for China and now replace all correct it changed uh, nine occurrences and uh, yeah we need to save it A file save us china binary okay and now we go to the OB to write protection and uh, now we need to check this uh, box to write protection not active uh, probably I need to click apply which got successfully programmed <laughs> and now we are there and start programming yes something is happening in progress don't fail me please and yeah file download complete okay and yeah and verified successfully well okay now it's time to connect everything and let's see if i've got a brick or maybe i successfully changed the serial number to china to have uh, unlocked scooter okay guys uh, <laughs> I just connected it and let's see the sparks error 40 that means uh, scooter is not activated <laughs> okay so we did something I connect using down G uh, to the scooter and uh, I will go okay and confirm and as we can see the serial number is totally different uh, than I've got it looks like it's uh, a default one so we will go to tools we'll go to advanced tools we'll go to repair DRV serial and uh, now I will write there my uh, true serial number but of course at the uh, fourth uh, character there will be C meaning it's a Chinese uh, scooter yeah let me check the numbers and uh, okay and let's press change and I will turn on it Come on. And okay. Okay, let's open the Segway app. And uh, yeah, we need to add a new scooter. We can see it's GT1. 
I need to confirm. It got connected. Okay. I'm binding it to my account. Okay, we need to watch the stupid movie. Okay, it looks like we are done. And there we've got, uh, it's my scooter, which I've got everything unlocked now. And uh, yeah, finally, <laughs> because the uh, Germany version has very little amount of settings. For example, uh, yeah, we've got more settings, uh, lights, <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. Okay, it looks like I'm done. And uh, now Eco is 40 kilometers per hour. <laughs> I have no idea why. And we need to ride uh, one kilometer to be able to change to sport. Oh, we can. No. Okay, so let's try to increase that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go <laughs> race mode not this one oh, same speed in there guys <laughs> I got scared <laughs> it's working <laughs> now I will have to screw everything back and take a ride Thanks for watching, please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button, bye!